Carly, and, and this is Brady. <laughs> in early 2020, we sold our house and most of our possessions and took our first big leap into living our vagabond dreams. We recently hiked 800 miles of the Appalachian Trail, and now we are purchasing a sailboat to start sailing around the world, all while capturing a creative journal of the journey. We hope to inspire you to live your own dreams. Subscribe and thanks for watching. I am removing these little just slide closed. Now you've got a closed cabinet um, and slide open. You can push them all the way to one side. And as you can tell, uh, well, for one thing, the ones up here are gross. They don't slide very well. They're really difficult to get out. They've got just like lots of caked up gunk, really lovely, on them. Uh, this one's got some like mold and mildew spots on it uh, where it's lost one of these panels. Basically, yeah, <laughs> and the, or they're broken. Oh yeah, that whole slider's broken. So we're doing away with them in the whole boat. They're in the cabins, there are some in the, in the head which have have already been broken and in the galley in the settee area they're all over so we're doing right away with all of them and we are going to do probably a like canvas setup which I'll have to show you when I start doing it um, but we're gonna make it fun colors bring some light into the boat some color into the boat break up all of the really dark wood which is nice and in a classic look but we want to make it feel more like us and more homey and these don't really work now anyway because they're falling apart mildew moldy gross so that is our plan so what I'm doing now is removing those or attempting to I think Brady's gonna have to do some of them because I can't really reach very well but yeah it's also on the to-do list Time for lunch. Lunch time, lunch time. And then. Back to the galley. Back to cleaning. Yep. It's in good progress, but we are not done. Lunch. Then clean. Then cleaning. How are we looking? So much better. So much better. We definitely have some spots we haven't cleaned yet, like the sink. Um, I think on top of the, the sink area. I cleaned over there, basically yeah. from there here back. over. Okay. So is this just oh, it is a, a hole. It is a nick in the... Sad day. Okay. But... In the top. Back there, Brady has been scrubbing away at. And if you... Stand so you can't see the track glue that we've pulled out, then yeah. it looks pretty good. Don't know how to get that track glue up yeah. yet. We're gonna research that. If you have any ideas, please let us know in the comments. I'm sure we will have researched by then, but let us know if you know because we'd love to learn. Okay, continuing on. Um, yeah, just scrubbed all of inside of all of these. Yep. Uh, and up there and I scrubbed all the top surfaces all the way around now there's some black over here that isn't coming up, isn't coming up but 
scrubbed all up underneath there. We took out the drawers. Carly just cleaned these out. Cleaned the microwave. Cleaned all back in there and then moved stuff back there. And did some scrubbing on the ceiling. I still have a chunk to do starting like right here and going that way. So we have the inside like pots and pans, big deep storage we haven't cleaned yet. The refrigerator, we need to figure out how to get it to drain. Um, I think we've got a clog. So right now can't really do much of a clean. We've Brady's done a slight clean, but needs more. That needs done. The stove system we are planning to sell. So we have not cleaned it. Um, we will be cleaning like when we take it out. Um, so that, yeah, hasn't been done. And then the under the sink, the sink un and our back storage um, have not been done. But I feel good about what we have accomplished and that we can definitely move some things in, get some food moved in, my tea moved in, and start kind of setting ourselves up for our home. And that will feel really nice. So, feels good. Getting things done. We've had another delivery of Christmas. As you can see kind of behind me, um, we've got smoke detector. Four, was it two smoke detectors? No, yes. one smoke detector for in here. Two smoke detectors. Okay, two smoke detectors for the cabins and a carbon monoxide for here, or that might be reverse. I can't really remember at the moment. And we've got some, which, why so much plastic wrap? It's not necessary, but food storage, airtight, watertight containers. Um, I don't like that they're plastic, but the stainless steel that you find like this is not the like 316 hardcore, not gonna rust stainless. It is a lower grade stainless steel and also they're more expensive. And then glass, which would be my preferred choice. Brady is very against glass on a boat um, with good reason. I mean, it makes sense. Boats rock, things fall, things break, if they're lost. But yeah, so this is where we landed. Storage containers of varying sizes, though right now they all look the same size, but to store things like our lentils, which are right now just um, <laughs> like twisted and hopefully not getting anything in them, and flour and all of that good stuff, all the food stuff. And yesterday we spent so much time cleaning, it would be nice to have these, clean them up, and then start moving food and things like that in, move out of the car. It's exciting. It's kind of like Christmas. Also, we got towels for the kitchen. Well, and bathrooms. We'll go for both. Green and white. And hand towels. Yeah. So that's exciting as well. I think that's about it. I think that's where we're at, but super exciting. And over the next several days, we have lots of things coming in, which I can't wait for. Most importantly, not really, but kind of, is my art supplies. Yay! I've been dying to do some painting, so I'm really excited about that. Also, which I couldn't find it, so I was out of sight, out of mind, but we are super excited to try the new Sawyer tap filter. We are replacing the water faucet. We're replacing the water faucet on our sink, which should come in maybe tomorrow, but it's in the next couple of days. We will be using this as our filtration system. We have no idea the state of the tanks. We aren't able to access, to look at the state of the tanks. We want the freedom to not have to worry about where we're getting water from and know that we're going to be able to drink clean water and all of that. The Acuva filter you see all over the place is amazing. It is awesome. It is so expensive. So it was like a dream. Don't know what we're gonna do in the meantime. We really can't afford that right now. And then Sawyer released a tap filter, which um, if you followed us hiking, we used the Sawyer squeeze on our hike. We carried two of them. 
love them. Huge fans, they are amazing. So when this came out, we were like, and there's our solution to the problem that we were going to have. So yeah, really excited about this and it came in and now we just need to get our faucet to come in. The one thing that's new to us is our boat is a cutter rigged boat which means it has a third sail uh, yeah. called a staysail. Yep. There's a little bit more to it than that. Um, like, sorry, I'll get closer so you can hear me better sound to scream. So there's a little bit more to it than that. It also is based on like the position where on your boat the main sail, your mast, is positioned. Um, but the most obvious is the three sails. Ours in this setup has a boom we have a second boom which we've never moved so <laughs> yeah we're gonna try doing that so we can open our cabin hatch yep up there we can't open the hatch with the boom in the way so we can also raise it yeah that uh so to raise it yeah to raise it we have to tighten up on this line yeah and loosen the blue and loosen the blue the blue is the staysail sheet we still we're gonna have to loosen the blue no matter what to move the traveler yeah this is the traveler yeah it is self tacking so it should just slide because it's self tacking what should slide the track the traveler unless you move these out of the way you move that one? Yeah. So now it's self tacking. Well, it was self tacking before, but, but now, now it'll move. Now the traveler will move. Yeah. Yep. So I'm not wrong. Not wrong. It just wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> we received a bunch more items now. So, more things to show you. Let's start with the bucket. Man, why does everything come wrapped in plastic? But we got some towels for bath towels because we don't have any. They are uh, microfiber towels, like the travel, yeah, kind of towel. Got two of those. We got lots of art supplies. I ordered some art supplies, which now this whole bucket is art supplies. Also got some more film. For our little Fuji camera, we um, want to take fun pictures, people we meet, the places we go, that sort of thing, and maybe stick them around as decoration to help, you know, make the boat feel more like us and homey and that sort of thing. It, in general, is not, like, we wouldn't pick this dark brown to be the color of our boat if we were picking those sort of things, which is the color of the boat and the like ivory cream color. Those are not colors we would pick. So in making those two main colors of the interior of the boat more homey, pictures, bucket dishes are a thing. And we found that with a round bucket, it's annoying um, from the boat delivery, we found that, to try and fit like plates. A rectangular bucket, which plates can go down in very easily. Also has this, so easy to pour, that sort of thing. Handle, so easy to scoop water. Dish bucket has arrived. I was planning on using it to like scrub the deck for like yeah. a boat brush, um, because fitting a boat brush down into a round bucket is not easy. Well, boat brushes are kind of small. Okay. But yeah, totally, that'll work too. May not be wide enough more art supplies and that's the faucet underneath oh, there. Yep. So new faucet that we got. And what I was going to say, so this is a soap dispenser head. And then we have a new uh, spray nozzle on the way. This right now is set up as drinking water. It doesn't work. It has a faucet. pump. Yes, it has a pump that's not connected so it could work and it is, I'll explain that setup later. We are for now getting rid of it. We're gonna turn this hole into a soap dispenser. New faucet, which Brady is holding up to be installed. 
here. And then we got a new one of these because this uh, is in rough shape, not great. So, new one of those. New system to be installed probably today. And then we will be able to add our filter, our tap filter from Sawyer to the new faucet and have room for all of that. 